morning, good morning. Back out at the greenhouse, uh, working on some finishing touches, getting this thing ready for um, spring and summer. We actually had snow yesterday, so I haven't taken any of the stuff that I've started and, and put it outside yet. Uh, but today I'm going to be installing an um, automatic window opener. Um, it's temperature controlled. Once it hits about 77 degrees, um, it starts to expand and it'll actually push the window open. Hopefully, we can get enough heat in here today. Um, it's supposed to hit about 67 outside, so I'm hoping that it'll hit 77 inside. Um, I ordered a thermometer for in here. I haven't gotten it yet. Um, it'll show humidity, uh, barometric pressure, things like that. But uh, today I'm going to go ahead and get this guy installed and we'll, we'll hopefully get to see it actually in action. Just get the rest of these pots out of the way. I had started some seeds and actually brought them outside. Uh, one day when it rained, it was really nice out. It was in the 60s, and then it dropped down dramatically into the 30s, and it, it killed some of this stuff. So that's why some of these aren't, aren't looking too hot. But I'll keep taking care of them, and hopefully they'll, they'll come back. Um, these basil plants really took a hit. Um, I went through and pulled all the old dead leaves off and the ones that weren't doing real well. And it, it's still alive and it's start, starting to produce some new growth, so I think they'll be fine. Um, just a little bit of TLC. Well, hopefully the light in here is okay. It's still kind of early in the morning. Um, but this is a, um, it's a Univent automatic window opener. It's pretty basic. Should be pretty easy to install. You can see it comes with some directions. Looks like it's uh, every language known to man. Um, so here's your parts list. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. All right, so you get a little uh, hardware bag, and here you got some clamps, some screws, and one of these little clips. Now these clamps you really only need if your window frame has like a lip to it um, that this thing needs to grab onto so you don't need to actually mount it directly to the window frame. Um, I won't be using these because my window frame, I, I custom built it out of wood, so I'm gonna be mounting everything directly to the frame of the greenhouse and the frame of the, the window itself. So these things right here, you don't need them at all. Um, but the nice thing about this is, it's kind of a universal kit as far as I can tell. Um, so you can apply this to a lot of different kinds of windows. Um, you know, based on whether yours is aluminum um, or, or wood like mine. Uh, so this right here is the, the basic opener. Um, the big side here gets attached to the, the body or the frame um, of the greenhouse, the opening for the window, and then this is what's attached to the window. So if you had a, a frame that had a lip all the way around it, kind of like a standard window, um, you could use one of these clips, screw it in, and it would actually clamp and grab um, the lip of the window. Uh, because of the way I built mine, I'm going to be screwing mine directly into uh, the frame itself because it's wood. So this right here is the, um, the cylinder that will expand um, when it heats up to about 77 degrees in here. And this has the ability to, to open um, up to like 33 pounds uh, or 15 kilogram window. Um, it is threaded here and there's a um, cylinder housing right in here that's actually where it screws in and then this part here the little piston that will expand feeds through this section here and then you use one of these clips to to hold it into place that way the piston doesn't just slide through this this base it'll actually grab it and then expand the clamp forcing your window open so let's get this guy together. So now we just need to insert the cylinder through the cylinder housing and into what they call the clutch. And this is where your piston is going to slide through. And then you attach your pin um, through here. And you can see there's a hole actually in the piston there. So we want to kind of line these up. expand this a little bit so I can get some tension 
on the, um, the threaded section into the cylinder housing to get it screwed in. So the, the threaded section on the cylinder is pretty long, so then you can actually adjust it based on how much tension you want on the piston itself to, to force the window open. So let's go ahead and install this on the window and let's, let's see how it's going to work. So the large section is going to be attached to the frame and then this arm will come up here and attach directly to the frame of the window. So I'm just going to center this frame as best I can and line that up and then drop a couple screws in here. So in order to make sure I'm not going to go um, all the way through the top with those screws, I got some of these slightly shorter wood screws and they should work just fine. So I just received my digital thermometer in the mail. Um, as you can see, it's about 91 degrees in here right now. Um, it also has a uh, humidity indicator. Um, this is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It does have the ability to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. But um, the uh, window opened um, about 8 to 10 inches right now. So once it hits 77 degrees, it does open. And it will open more and more depending on you know the hotter it gets in here. So. I would consider this a success. Now I'm not sponsored by this product. I just happened to purchase it on Amazon uh, based on reviews and based on price. But um, if you want, I'll put a link down below. Uh, that way it makes it a little bit easier if you guys want to purchase the same thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm going to start working on a lean-to shed on the other side of this building that I attached the greenhouse to. Um, it'll be a similar construction to the greenhouse, obviously, except for all the windows. It'll make it um, considerably easier to build. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time. Now, kind of like a screen door, you can actually feel this thing when 